Dundee, I'll go. If I owe you anything, I'll pay. For the sheep that died on your wire, or my man you beat up? It's my land. The sheep, or my man, Pierce. You want to do it to me? I guess you will. All right, Sullivan. Father, anyone who brings barbed wire in here gets the same. Let's go. Can't go through there, mister. Why not? Carrying barbed wire. That's right. You tell Cobb. I'm Cobb. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Just leave the barbed wire alone. Dundee gave me my orders, Mr. Cobb. No wire goes through his land. Not Now well, you... Dundee doesn't give me my orders. Bales of wire. And then they won't grow or feed anything. Why? Is it your fight? Are we farmers your brothers? Are you gonna die for them? I operate a public carrier, mister. I wouldn't feel very comfortable having another man tell me what I could or couldn't carry. And those farmers are my friends. Out of the way. <laughs> I think the bone's broken. Who did that to him? He didn't even fight back. I just tied him up and whipped him. My friend is wounded too. Where's the nearest doctor? 
Mr. Dundee's doctor. Well, we've got to have him. a week, ten days. Even then, it'll be a long trip home. What about Pierce? Oh, it's more painful than serious. That house we saw, that's where Dundee lives, isn't it? And over there on the hillock is where he buried the two men you killed, Mr. Cobb. He'll read the Bible over them, and then he'll kill you. Does Dundee always get his way? Dundee possesses over 40,000 head of sheep. 30 men eat his bread and salt. He owns, holds, and rules 400,000 acres of land. Yes, he usually has his way. And if you take my advice, you'll go back to Sydney, right now. And take Pierce and his boy and Dan with me? I told you Dan can't be moved for a week. Will Dundee leave him alone? Until he can make a fight of us. I'll take the rest of the wire to the other farmers in the morning. Let me tell you something. Dundee lost his wife and child in a land fight in Arnhem Land. And it was his land. I knew him then, and he was a good man, I think. But now he's got a lot of hate. What he did to Pierce was an example to the other farmers. I see you're not listening, and that's a shame. fight in a way that they think is best. Sometimes they fight with guns, sometimes with whips. And sometimes they fight by just being there, by taking whatever comes and not quitting or running. You understand what I mean? I don't know. Well, you think about it, son, because your father did fight back in his own way. That's right, Walt. It's been a long time, Mr. Cobb. Three years ago in Queensland. You haven't changed much. I'm three years older. A little around the eyes, maybe. Did you whip Pierce, Walt? I helped. You gonna try it on me? I worked for you, Mr. Cobb. I admit you saved my life once. You're as good a coach driver as I was, Mr. Cobb. But I liked you for that. Now get on your wagon and get out of here. I don't want to hurt you. There are two men in there, both hurt. Leave them. And the wire? Leave that too. Thanks for your consideration, Walt. I'll wait for Dundee. I'll get the wire down for you, Mr. Cobb. Then you can go. Walt. 
Don't push it. You can still run, Mr. Cobb. Or you can use that gun on me. I'm not armed. With that whip? I've seen you kill a man with it, Walt. I have to spit in your face to make you pick it up, Mr. Cobb. Dundee wants to see him. I want to see him. Joe Pierce is going with me. Chris. What? All this for a few bales of wire. Oh, is that all it is, Dan? Is that all it is? This is my land, and there shall be no wire, saith Dundee. This is my land, and I will destroy all who oppose me, saith Dundee. This is my land, and I will kill a man if necessary. Did you talk to him? John Dundee says if you leave the wire, he lets you live. It's a good offer, Mr. Cobb. He's offering you your life. Why? Say, because I asked him to. Oh? Why does he stop now? I've treated him and his family. Say he owes me that much. Say he admires the hardness of your spirit. Or begins to understand the futility of spending lives on land which hardly feeds the sheep won't grow wheat or corn anyway, which will exist to be desolate a thousand years after we've been swallowed up by it, digested by it, and turned into fertilizer by it. Mr. Cobb, you're not a man to get down on your knees, so I've done it for you. Now I give you your life. Dan alone either way? Yes. Will he let Pierce and others like him go back to their land and work it? You ask too much. Well, it's all right, Mr. Cobb. I'll go. Beat enough blood already. I hear his aborigines call him Chara. God. That's understandable. Now I think I can comprehend the man a little. He took the land, he held it, he gave his loved ones to it. And now the little men with the barbed wire are here. But he's no god, Doctor. You've just turned him into a human being for me. Now I'll try to talk to him. You know, words are empty now. Still, it has to be tried, doesn't it?
I think I'd better see Dundee alone. Bobby. Bobby, come back! He's got a gun with him. He must be heading up towards Dundee's house. I'll get after him. Wait for me, I'm coming with you. with my land claims. Thirty hard years old. How could it hurt you, Dundee? My few acres against the thousands you have. I let you stay until you fenced out my sheep to protect my crop. If I let you do it, I'd have thousands of squatters swarming all over my land. You're going to settle a land claim with a gun, whether it's with me or the Queen's police? Now, don't leave with a gun, Mr. Cobb. Rungi here has interesting methods of his own. But you're an American. Perhaps you haven't had a chance to see Aboriginal magic in action. I've seen it. Then you've seen men killed by the pointing bone. Or sunk to death in the death corroboree. Runga has great powers. But you don't need to kill a man, Mr. Cobb. It's enough to disable him. Make it impossible for his finger to squeeze a trigger. Are you seriously trying to frighten me with magic? If you knew Runga's people like I do, you would feel a little fear like the rest of us. But I have nothing to match your courage in sending a boy along here to shoot. You've had your whipping. You're free to leave. I've told the doctors. Cobb, leave the wire and get out. Don't do that, Mr. Cobb. The gun won't help you. I told you about Runga's power. Very remarkable man, Mr. Cobb. But I suggest you throw that gun down. 
Under the circumstances, I don't think that would be altogether wise. There are three guns on you. You'd have time for one shot. You'd have three bullets in your body. Well, that one shot is just for you. Let Pierce and the boy go. I let them go when you throw that gun down. This is a fight, Mr. Cobb. I'm not running from it. I've been pushed around as much as I'm going to. Anyone can be a hero, Pierce. Now show some real courage and get your son out of here. Just go. I'm waiting, Cobb. Don't trust him. I'm staying here. Bobby, your father's a brave man. Don't let him be a fool. He's sick. Get him home and take care of him. Pierce, stay where you are. The gun comes. Here. All right, Sullivan. Well, what are you waiting for? Sullivan, when I give you an order, snap to it. Not like this, Mr. Dundee. I won't kill a man like this. I hope that's a lesson for all of you. He broke his word. We call him Gaia. But a god doesn't lie. You go now. Now go, Runger. But I'll be back as a friend. <laughs> 